right, so now with this one, we have the cube root of 125 and the cube root of y to the 6. Basically what that's saying is you want to take the cube root of each item. So this 125 is an item and y to the 6 is an item. So I'm going to take the cube root of each one. So I have the cube root of 125 and the cube root of y to the 6. The cube root of 125 is actually pretty simple. Three numbers that are exactly the same that will give you 125. Well, that's just 5. 5 times 5 times 5. This one over here, um, y to the 6, um, well, I can rewrite that to the 1 third because the cube root is the same as 1 third. And 6 to the 1 third is like me saying 6 um, times 1 third, which is 6 over 3. And we actually already know what 6 over 3 is. 6 over 3 is 2. So I have y squared and I have the 5 out in front. Um, if I have a half, I need to take that half through to every single item. So the half goes to the 9, the half goes to the u squared, the half goes to the v to the 10th. Well, a half is like saying the square root, so the square root of 9 is 3. It's like saying 2 times a half, which is 2 over 2, and 2 divided by 2 is 1. So that's why I have u to the 1. And 10 times a half is like saying 10 over 2, and 10 divided by 2 is 5, which is how I'm getting 3 u v to the 5th power. Um, I can take the fourth root of each of these, so the fourth root of the top and the fourth root of the bottom. And because we're talking about the fourth root, that means I can rewrite those as the one-fourth power. So I'm really taking each of these to the one-fourth. So four to the one-fourth is like saying four over four. And eight to the one-fourth is like me saying eight over four. Well, four over four is one, and eight over four is two, so really I have x, because that's a one, and over y squared, because eight over four is two. Example six, same as all the others, each one of these is an individual event, so I have the fifth root of five, the fifth root of a to the fifth, the fifth root of b to the ninth, the fifth root of c to the thirteenth. So I have to take the fifth root of every single item. And the fifth root is like me saying everything to the one-fifth power. So I basically have five to the one-fifth, a to the fifth to the one-fifth, b to the ninth to the one-fifth, c to the thirteenth to the one-fifth. So the big, big concept here is that we can't have improper fractions. Because when I multiply all these through together, I get five to the one-fifth. That's five over five, which that's OK. That'll simplify. That's definitely not a problem. It's a one. but. I have 9 fifths and 13 fifths, both of which are improper fractions. I can't have improper fractions. I can't. You can't do that because it's not completely simplified. So I need to completely simplify this. Well, simplifying 5 over 5, that's easy. That's just a to the first power. But b to the 9 fifths, think about it like this. Switch it into a mixed number. 9 divided by 5, right? 9 divided by 5 is 1 and 4 fifths. Well, that's what we have here. b to the first is 1 and 4 fifths. The other way you can think about it is you can separate it into 2. 5 over 5 and 4 over 5. If you separate it into two items, what is 5 plus 4? 9. And 5 over 5 simplifies. We simplified it into something that would, or we separated it into something that would simplify. 5 over 5 will simplify to 1. The easier way I think to do it is rewrite that as a mixed number, and the the whole number is the first one, and the fraction is the one later. That's why this is one and four fifths. C to the thirteen fifths. If we were to rewrite that as a mixed number, that's two and three fifths. That's why the first one is two, and the second one is three fifths. The other way you can separate this is to ten fifths and three fifths, because ten plus three is thirteen, right? So 10 fifths and 3 fifths is 13 fifths, and 10 divided by 5 is 2. So when we separate this, we still have 5 to the 1 fifth, a simplif to the 5 fifths simplified to a, b to the 9 fifths, 9 fifths simplified to b times b to the 4 fifth, and c to the 13 fifths simplified to c squared and c to the 3 fifths. What you're supposed to do is anything that does not have a root or a fraction in the exponent. You move those all together and put them out in front. So that's why I have the a, b, c squared out in front. Each one of these items has a root or a, a fraction in it. I can take the same fraction out of all of them. What does each fraction have in common? A fifth. 
So we take a fifth out of all those, put it in parentheses out there, and then I can rewrite a fifth as the fifth root. So really I have ABC squared times the fifth root of 5 b the fourth c to the third. Continuing here with example 6, I can take the cube root on both the top and the bottom, and I can rewrite the cube root as uh, 1 third, so I have 1 third and I have 7 thirds on the bottom, uh, but the problem is you can't have a root or a fraction on the bottom, so I need to get rid of that fraction. So we can't have that improper fraction, so I'm going to rewrite that as 6 thirds and 1 third, because 6 thirds plus 1 third is 7 thirds. Okay, or if I was to rewrite seven thirds, it would be the same as saying two and one third. So I have a y squared on the bottom, but I still have a one third. So that that helped a little bit. It got this to be a y squared, but I still have a one third. How do I get rid of that one third? Well, to get rid of that one third, what I need to do is I need to figure out what'll make that one whole. I need to get the denominator to be a whole. So what can I multiply? that bottom by that will make that exponent cancel out. Well, one-third plus what gives me one whole? Well, one-third plus two-thirds, right? One-third and two-thirds is a whole. So if I multiply it by a y to the two-thirds on both the top and the bottom, this one-third and two-thirds, I can add it together to get a whole y here, and I have another y to the two-thirds on top. Well, y squared and a y is actually y cubed. So the bottom is finally okay, but now the top, what do they both have in common I can take out of them? They both have a third, so I need to take out a third out of both of them, and I can rewrite a third as the cube root on top. So the cube root of x, y squared over y cubed is your answer. Um, we kind of discussed this one already. Um, 5 um, to the y, uh, the square root of y, and 6 to the uh, square root of y we kind of discussed already, but when we come back here, um, I will just put that last little section in here quick, which will probably only be another minute, and we will finish up when we come back on 7.2.